Ready. Well, first, uh, I had to ask, the first play of the game, you, you go down and, oh, yeah. and it didn't look good. And I didn't see it, but some, I was told there wasn't even a contact play. I guess, take me through it. What happened and, and how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing I'm doing fine. Uh, I, I went back into the game, unfortunately, and uh, I was coming around the pass rush and I was turning and then I'm pretty sure I got legged whip and kind of got rolled up in the in the, in the sense. So, uh, but just got legged whip, kind of got just jolted a little bit, but I'll be fine. I should I, I should be playing this Saturday. This next right. Saturday. Was it, I mean, it looked it look scary. You know, you were helped off the field. I mean, oh, what's, yeah. you know. Just, what? uh, I'll definitely say, like, it stunned me. My, my knee was kind of, they, they did all my vitals, checked my ACL, MCL, everything. All the big ones are fine. Right. I'm going to be just fine. Yes, Eddie, I mean, it's, you know, two games in. I know it hasn't gotten off oh, yeah. to the start you wanted to, but, uh, you know, what has to what has to get better? I know Coach Bull has said, and not singled anyone out, but, you know, a, a, a pass rush, you know, a more effective pass rush oh, yeah. would help. Is, would you agree with that? And, and oh, what needs to change definitely. for that to happen? I would definitely think that we have to, we have to start getting home more as far as only having them. I'm thinking we have one sack this, this season so far. Mm -hmm. I think we have to definitely have to get more pressure on the quarterback. And uh, this upcoming game, Washington State is going to be a test for us because they throw, the uh, throw the ball 60 times a game, seven times a game sometimes. So it's going to be a, we, we definitely have to bring our bring our hard hats to, to work to get better, get to the quarterback, put pressure on them, take some of that pressure off of our secondary. You know, when you face a team that does throw it like Washington State, I mean, yeah. they're going to throw it a lot. As, oh, yeah. as a defensive lineman, I know that it's a daunting task for a defense. But as a defensive lineman, is that kind of exciting that you Honestly, might you you might get some you might get some chances to you know, get some of those sacks? It, and it stuff. is exciting, especially in a playing uh, in our league. It's kind of a lot more balanced, and you kind of your your chances on getting sacks and and having a pass rush and know like, okay, I know I'm on, I'm getting a pass look right now. I know I'm about to, I need to pass rush right now. Mm -hmm. That doesn't come. That doesn't come a lot in our league. You kind of you have to always just be ready. Like, all right, you gotta have one just in your back pocket, just because you think and run, but then play pass. So mm -hmm. it'll be it's kind of exciting to know that you're gonna have your, a lot of opportunities to kind of get home and get to that quarterback. You know, Eddie, I know I've talked to you in the past. Like when you played in high school, you never you never left the field and everything. Mm -hmm. Now you know because of some injuries and some depth things. I mean, you're down to what four defensive ends now. Is it? Definitely. I mean, you got what you got. You know, it's not yeah. like the NFL. You can go sign somebody. So. Does the mentality change when you know you don't have as many guys? Is it is it any different now and right now with with just not with so fewer guys? I would definitely say uh, it's it's next man up mentality and uh, one thing we say is the Alamo. Hey, it's all we got, so we, <laughs> you got to ride. So I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, it's uh, it's unfortunate. It would be nice to have some more death, but at the same time, hey, it's life. You gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta saddle up sometimes. So.